readers, welcome back to Comfort Reads. I am Jess and on this channel I make books about reading and writing as well and today I've got a slightly painful video to film. So unfortunately I have come to the painful conclusion that I have got to get rid of one of my bookshelves. Not one of these thankfully, um, these ones go to the ceiling. But I have a little bookshelf over there which I will show you in a minute. Um, that has got to go because something else is going to go in its place. I've got to kind of rearrange my whole room to fit it. Um, but I am really excited about what is going to go there instead. It just means that I've got to get rid of some books. To be honest, this is going to be quite tough because I'm not a huge book buyer. I tend to only buy books that I know I want. But there are definitely some that I could get rid of. So I'm going to make three piles. One is going to be books that I've owned for a very long time um, and haven't read. And if I haven't read them by the end of this year, 2024, they're going to go. The second pile is going to be books that I have read and I know I wouldn't want to reread. And then the third and final pile is just going to be books that I have lost complete interest in. So firstly is the wardrobe books. I have had these in my wardrobe for a little while now and they are basically books that I have been meaning to get rid of anyway. Um, so they will be unhauled very, very soon, probably to a charity shop. So the books I had in my wardrobe, I had The Lux and Rumours by Anna Godfison. These were kind of pitched as um, 1920s gossip girl, which I agree with. Um, not even 1920s, like 1899. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely agree that this is very gossip girl like. It's just that I'm kind of over that era now. Um, so these are going, even though I do really love the covers, I'm not gonna lie. Like my glasses are going to annoy you so I'm going to take them off. I can see without them though, don't worry. Next I've got Tigers in the Tower by Julia Golding. Um, this is a middle grade book. I have read it but it didn't it didn't wow me um, so I am going to get rid of this one. This one I have owned for years and years and years and I never got the urge to actually read it. Um, so it's going to go, it's The Universe versus Alex Woods by Gavin Excellence. I think I bought this because Somebody told me it's a bit like Perks of Being a Wallflower, but it doesn't really, I don't know, it, didn't, it never really enticed me to read it. And then I've got The Lita by Vladimir Nabokov. I just feel, I don't know, I'm just not interested in reading it, to be honest with you. Um, even though I'm sure the writing is beautiful, it, 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 I just, it's not my thing. Then I've got Tess of the Durbervilles by Thomas Hardy. I do really want to read this, I just don't want to read this edition or this copy. Um, because somebody clearly read this as for their English literature class and they wrote all over it and I don't mind annotations but it, I don't mind my own annotations I don't really want to read something else's especially when it's all just English lit stuff and then I've got um, Les Miserables these are the editions that I own it's split into two parts which I didn't really like so I rebought it um, so these are duplicates basically I'm really not sure about this series I read the first book um, and I, it, I didn't click with it but when I look at the covers I just think they look so good so if you've read this series please let me know if it is worth continuing it um, and it's the Furies of Calderon or the Codex Alira series by Jim Butcher um, yeah I really didn't get on with the writing to be honest with you I own the first four books and I just I, I don't know but I do think these might be going. I think I might try selling them though because it is like nearly a whole series. I think it's just the last two books that I don't have um, and I've only read the first one. Now I'm going to go through this whole bookshelf here um, and try and get rid of a few of the books that are on it. Now let's do this bookshelf. This bookshelf holds my contemporary and also some historical fiction books and also young adult right at the bottom here.
so I've got a few books here. I've got The Appeal uh, by Janice Harriet, which I'm going to put in the read by the end of 2024 pile. Uh, same with Before We Met, um, I'm going to put that in the read before the end of the year pile as well. I'm kind of interested in them. I've had this one for years and years um, and I kind of just want to read it since it's really small um, and I've heard kind of good things about this. I think, oh, I don't know, I tried reading this, it didn't, I didn't, I didn't really get along with it. Um, I'm kind of intrigued. Yeah, I might keep this one as well, actually. This one's going to go, I've got no interest in this, to be honest with you. And the same with this one. Um, I got this one out of a free little library, just kind of because there wasn't anything else. But I don't really have any interest in it, I'm not going to lie. I may also get rid of this just because I have read this but I don't see myself ever reading it again. This was fun um, but again I, I just wouldn't reread it so I don't think I need to keep it. I can't believe I actually still own this but I've got the Vampire Diaries. Um, I've never read this. I'm kind of interested in reading it to be honest with you. I didn't really love the um, the TV show. So I might keep it um, as a read by the end of the year book. And now for fantasy books. I've owned this book for so, so long. Um, it's The Red Pyramid by Rick Ryder. This is the one series of his um, I, I wasn't really that interested in. Um, rather than Greek mythology, which is what he majority writes about, this one is Egyptian mythology. Um, I did just finish watching House of the Neighbors though and I kind of enjoyed that. So maybe I should read this. I'm gonna give it a try. If I don't read it by the end of this year, it's gone. I actually own two copies of The Lost Hero, so I'm gonna get rid of the one. I think this is the American paperback. I think I went through a phase where I wanted to collect American versions of books, but that phase is gone. I really love Matt Haig, um, but this book I've owned for a good six years, I think, and I haven't read it. It's The Dead Fathers Club. It's not one of his better known books. I think it's a middle grade book. Um, I'm going to put it on the read by the end of the year pile, which is getting progressively longer and longer. Another one. Oh, another two. Oh, another three. Another three for the read by the end of the year pile. Um, the Warrior Air by Cinda Williams Chimer. I actually bought this um, when the, that, the Booktube book club was going on. I can't remember what it was called, but it was run by Jessie the Reader, Tabby Tastic, and uh, Christine um, Poe and books. Does anyone remember that? It was their first book club read, and I've never read it. Then I've also got An Ember in the Ashes and The Young Elite. I have a feeling I'm gonna enjoy these two, so I don't really know why had them on my bookshelf for so long and haven't read them. I've got a couple of shelves of classics here um, and I don't think I can get rid of any of the books that are on those. But then above that I do have non-fiction books. I don't think I can get rid of any of those either. No, I can't. I can't do it. I'm interested in all of them. I do have these. Um, I don't like these editions and I've been slowly um, rebuying them. I used to have a lot more than these ones and these are just the ones that are left and I think it's time to get rid of them. I will buy, I will rebuy some of them in new editions at some point. Probably Treasure Island and Ballet Shoes. But the others honestly probably don't really interest me. I already own Peter Pan again. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna need some tea. I could probably get rid of the Jungle Book and Pinocchio. I read Pinocchio, I wasn't a fan, and I'm never going to read the Jungle Book. I'm just not going to. <laughs> I am tempted to get rid of the What Katie Did books. I read the entire series. Um, I never read it as a kid. I feel like I'm just not interested in it now. But I don't know. 
These are a maybe. They're a maybe re by the end of the year, maybe just get rid of them. I can get rid of this. This is a duplicate. I own another copy of this one. I have read this. I don't know if I would read it again. I didn't love it as much as Simon. So um, this is the sequel to Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, I don't know if I would read this again, so I might get rid of this one. And then I've owned this for a very, very long time. This is actually the same person who wrote uh, the Jane Austen book club, which is kind of why I'm still a little bit interested in it. Um, this is going to go on the read by the end of the year pile. One more for the read by the end of the year. Um, Strings of Murder by Oscar de Muriel. I think, I think this is a historical murder mystery. So if I don't read it by the end of the year, it's gone. I've owned this for way too long. Okay, that is that shelf done. I do own more shelves. Hold on. So I own these two shelves here, which are classics. Um, and then this here is the shelf I'm going to be getting rid of, this one here. Um, as you can see, it's not completely full of books, but I, um, yeah, okay, so we'll have a look at these. As you can see, I hold my journals here and also my uh, classical books. I don't think I want to get rid of any of these, to be honest with you. Um, of what I haven't read, I am still interested in reading. I also have poetry collections here. Again, I don't want to get rid of any of them. Um, and then, and then the bottom shelf isn't actually full of books. It holds some of my knitting stuff. So I don't think I can get rid of anything on the shelf, to be honest with you. So all of these books are going to have to go on the other shelves. And then I really don't like getting rid of classics, to be honest with you. Um, and I just, I don't think there are any here. Oh, I can see one actually. Oh gosh, that's a bit precarious. Stop falling. <laughs> I can get rid of this one. Ernest Hemingway is up for him. The bell tolls. I don't like Ernest Hemingway. Him and his writing and me, they don't get along. They just, they really don't. I wasn't a huge fan of this either. Around the World in 80 Days. Um, by Jules Byrne. This is one of the most beautiful books that I own though. So, I don't know if I can get rid of it, even though I didn't like the book itself. But then the spine is boring. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't need to own this edition of Emma. I do already have it in this edition. And I also have a hardcover box set right there as well, so. Even though it's, it's not taking up that much space though, you know, like it's only like, they look kind of cool in that little pile, don't they? I don't think I need to get rid of it just yet. Yeah, I think that's it for that shelf as well. I just moved my chair out of the way, but this is what's behind the chair. Um, I think there's a few books I could get rid of here. I, I read this and it hurt. And I don't think I would read it again, to be honest with you. Um, but I don't know if I want to get rid of it. That's a hard one. That is a hard one. Um, it might be a maybe, maybe. <laughs> it's going to be a maybe. Maybe the same with this one. Um, again, I read it. I just, I, I don't think I would read it again. But it hurts to get rid of them because they are, they are beautiful stories. They just, they hurt so much. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the same with this one. I think I just hide the pain, the painful books behind my chair. <laughs> no, I can't. I don't think I can get rid of these books, even though they hurt. They just, they are beautiful. I'm going to get rid of this. Um, there was a little period where literally everyone was talking about this book, but I was never that enthusiastic about it, to be honest with you. So I'm going to get rid of this. I don't like this version that I've got, this book. It's like almost large print almost so i think i'm gonna get rid of this copy and then one day replace it with a normal paperback edition oh my god this is so dusty <laughs> hold on um and i think i'm gonna get rid of this definitely i wasn't enamored by this at all i've got to keep these i'm not gonna lie um i think i've got to keep these ones as well i've actually annotated these editions so they are gonna have to stay i just hide them a little bit <laughs> That is my big copy of William Shakespeare's plays. Oh, 
the English patient. I think I'm going to get rid of this. It looks a bit not my cup of tea, to be honest with you. If Red never let me go. Um, I do want to keep this. I do like this story. This is going to go in my read before the end of the year pile because I've owned this for so, so long. And um, yeah, I just, I need to read it. Oh, I actually wasn't that enamoured by The Remains of the Day. I actually found this quite boring. But, I mean, it's only small. It's not taking up that much room, is it? And then obviously The Handmaid's Tale. I actually don't know why that's here. That should be on my classic shelf. Um, I'm going to move it, but I am keeping this, of course, because I, I loved this. I actually read this for my A-levels. Um, can I get rid of any of these? Oh, I might be able to get rid of... I think I might get rid of this. I think we started reading this in school, um, but we only read like a couple of letters. I don't think I'm that interested in it anymore, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Maybe the same with this. I have read this. I, I wouldn't read it again. Um, the movie is stunning. I, I only bought this because it was three books for a pound, so I needed a third book. I'm kind of interested in learning more about Churchill. But I don't know if I want to read a book this big on him. Maybe I will one day. I'll keep it. Um, my Hague book. Oh, I can get rid of this. Hold on. I can definitely get rid of this. I picked this up in a free little library thinking it was something else. So this is going to go. I might actually be able to also get rid of some of these DVDs. Um, because who even needs DVDs anymore? I just keep them, a lot of them, for like nostalgic reasons, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, I think some of them could definitely... Oh my gosh, what's this? <gasps> oh, you're joking me. I did not know this was here. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, I might go through these later and maybe get rid of a few of these as well. I may as well do this side as well, since I'm down here. Um, I could definitely get a few rid of some of these. This is basically like, I mean, like I don't, I don't need to keep any of these except, except this is actually it's a Christmas present. Um, I don't need this. I really don't need this. Um, what else is here? Oh, I've got like these, <laughs> these like recipe books that my granddad gave me. Hold on. Right, yeah, these were my nans. I just, I feel like we don't really need recipe books. I mean, most recipes are online now. Um, I might go through them and see if they're worth keeping, but I probably won't because I don't use them at all. Um, I don't really use recipes to be honest with you. I just kind of wing it. Um, oh, I could get rid of this when I had a little colouring phase. It didn't last very long. Let's see how long it lasted. Oh look, actually that's quite, no it's not. Oh look, it lasted two and a half pages. Oh no, actually, I did quite a few. Um, I'm just not, I'm not very, I don't know. Oh no, this is making me want to do it now. Hold on. It's actually making me want to, but maybe I won't. No, I think that's got to go as well. I've got some mould like magazines of Taylor Swift here. I might keep these actually. My aunt bought this back from America for me, so I will keep that because that's special. Oh, this I'm actually, <laughs> I got a poem published in there when I was like nine. <laughs> so I've got to keep that. Um, oh, my trip to Heaver Castle. This was my nan's. I drew all over it. Sorry, nan. Um, oh gosh, what's that? Oh, colouring for calm. Yeah, I can get rid of that. What's this? Oh, history. Oh my god, okay, that's a bit of hurt. Um, history of the world in a hundred objects. Um, I mean, maybe I'll keep this. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. That looks kind of interesting. On this shelf, I can definitely, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm not even going to pretend that I want to read this anymore. I bought this um, just after it won the Man Booker Prize. And I thought I was interested in Booker Prize winners. But I'm I'm just not. They're not for me. Um, 
Oh no, wait, these two books I've owned for so long. Um, I'm going to put this on the read by the end of the year pile. Um, and if I don't read this one by the end of the year, I'm going to have to get rid of both. Um, but I want to give him a try at these. So I'm going to I'm gonna put this on the read by the end of the year pile. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. I actually didn't realise I still owned this. I thought I'd already gotten rid of it. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this. I wasn't a fan of this. Same with this. My other Sebastian Forks book. Um, yeah, World War books, I just don't think are for me. I went through a phase. And again, that phase has ended now. Uh, the, hmm. This book, I actually bought this book because I think it was Jim Chapman who read it and recommended it. Um, but I don't think me and Jim Chapman really have the same reading taste, so I'm going to get rid of this. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this book, but I'm going to keep it anyway. <laughs> going to keep that, going to keep that. Mm, I've read this, I probably won't ever reread it. I'll get rid of it. Um, read by the end of the year because I've owned this for a very long time. I bought this actually because somebody said that it reminded them of My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante. It's kind of an, a um, coming of age book. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put this on the read by the end of the year pile. I've read that, I've read that. Um, The Blind Assassin. I'm still interested in that, but I don't. I'm gonna, I am still interested in that, but I feel like my pile for reading by the end of the year is getting too big. So I'm just gonna keep that um, and maybe I'll read it next year. Okay, so now for the fun part. Behind these books, which are my like TBR books, upcoming reads, um, these are actually library books. The rest of them are books that I'm going to read soon. Um, behind them are books that have been on their way out for a very, very long time. And books I didn't even want to have on display basically. So I'm gonna go behind here and see how many of these I can get rid of and then maybe I can actually fit some of these behind there or maybe something else maybe we should do that confused right now I don't even know where this one materialized from <laughs> um, okay so this is gonna go mm. I don't know about these books because I've got I feel like maybe I should give them one last try I'm, I'm, I'm going to give them one last try. I've tried reading these so many times now and I, for some reason I just cannot get into them. Um, one last try. Like a real try. Didn't like this book. But would I like it now? You know I haven't actually tried reading this post the pandemic. So maybe this is worth a try again. I'm so bad at getting rid of books. But I like this one. Why is it behind here? I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put it back on the shelf, actually. I like this too. Oh no. This is a bad idea going behind here. Um, I might have to keep these. That can go. Oh, and so can that. <laughs> Two books. Um, and I'm not a huge Stephen King fan. I've tried reading his books over and over again. I mean, they just they never work for me. This is going to go as well. That can go. I've read this. I didn't actually like it that much. I liked the beginning. It had some really nice writing about books and libraries and bookshops and stuff. But I didn't find the story very compelling. Or I don't think it ended very well. So I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, got a couple of Christmas books. These will stay. I always get the urge to read these over Christmas time. Oh my god. <gasps> the notebook. 
gonna have to keep this just for nostalgic reasons. That can go. <laughs> I'm not sure about this one. I picked it up not realizing it's like the third book in a series. I think I'll have to see if the first book is something I'd be interested in reading before I get rid of this. So I'm just gonna keep it. Memoirs of Teenage Amnesiac. I don't know. I don't know. Will I read this again? No. I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> Might as well. The Impossible Knife of Memory. Um, yeah, I just wouldn't read it again. So I will give it to somebody who will read it. I was not a fan of this, so I will get rid of this as well. This was like the sequel to The Handmaid's Tale. I did not have a good time with this book. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep this. Just because I always get the urge to read a mermaid book, but I don't do it enough. So I'm actually gonna I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna read it. Oh my gosh, the writing's blue. Do you see that? Blue. Beautiful. Okay then. I can get rid of this. Um, I bought this because I had a tutor in A level, um, sixth form, um, who recommended this. Um, but I didn't even like that tutor. I actually, I actually think he's like a horrible person. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't know why I've owned it for so long, to be honest with you. Keep the nostalgic reasons. I read this in my first year of secondary school. Um, and I'm gonna get rid of this because it's a duplicate. And I have a better edition now that isn't so confusing. This is like proper old English. Um, and I didn't really understand a word of it, to be honest with you. I was not a fan of Martian, so this is gonna go, definitely. Um, I don't know about Angel 4. I might have to look this up and see whether or not this is actually worth. I feel like I have a faint memory of reading it, but I, for some reason, didn't want to continue the series, so. I have owned it for a really, really long time, so this might have to go. This is gonna go, was not a fan of 100 Years of Solitude. It really wasn't for me. Hmm. Okay. No interest in reading this whatsoever, so this can go. Um, don't like time travel books. This didn't work for me. Um, and I can never get into this one. I don't know. I'm kind of still interested in it a little bit. I think I'm going to keep this, The Book of Lost Things. I'm going to keep it. Just because I do really like books that are about books. That's what this is. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to get rid of this though. I didn't like where the series went, but I had a good time with the first book of Miss Peregrine's Home. So I think I'm going to keep this. This is the second book in a series that I don't know if I'm that interested in anymore. This might have to go too. Um, and then I'm going to keep this. I actually don't know why that's behind there because I quite enjoyed this. It's a short story collection actually by a booktuber herself, Jane Campbell. So I think I will keep this. That was mostly successful. I think these are going to go back behind here actually. And then I might put a few more behind here. Um, I don't know. Or I might just get rid of them and then put something else behind there. We'll see, but I feel like we've made good progress. So overall that was quite successful. I'm keeping these books, um, which were behind these shelves anyway, um, just because I've read most of them, um, you know, just in case. These are the books that um, I have to read by the end of this year. Um, and if I don't read them, then they are going. I think these three I am keeping. I just, I don't think I can get rid of them, even though they're painful. And then finally, uh, the biggest success, uh, thankfully, is this pile, which these are the books that are going. They are the books that I am absolutely getting rid of. Um, oh, what is that? Oh no, that's not meant to be there. I honestly don't know how that ended up there. I'm not getting rid of this. So yeah, I'm going to have to go through this pile just to make sure nothing's ended up there accidentally. I've managed to fit the books I'm going to be getting rid of into these two bags. I'm going to just go through all the ones that I am officially unhauling, taking to a charity shop. We tested the Gerber bills. I'm going to get a new copy of this. Lolita by Vladimir Novikov 
it's just a subject that I'm not really interested in reading about. Um, Universe versus Alex Woods. I've just owned this for so so long and I've just lost complete interest in reading it to be honest with you. Tigers in the Tower by Julia Golding. I've read this. I wouldn't read it again. The first two books in the Lux series, I'm getting rid of the names because they are duplicates. This book on writing history, theory and practice. It's just not what I thought it was basically. <laughs> this little colouring book, which is random. Um, the Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. The English Patient by Michael Ondaatje. I am going to be getting rid of the two recipe books. Forgotten Voices. Crowning Mercy by Bernard Cornwall. The Girl at the Lion Door um, by Sebastian Fawkes. Twelve Years a Slave by Solomon Northup. I have read this. I wouldn't read it again. A few children's books. I've got The Jungle Book, Treasure Island, Dr. Doolittle, Ballet Shoes, Peter Pan, Swallows and Amazons, and also Pinocchio. And I've got a Harry Potter colouring book, which is actually half coloured in, so I don't know if a charity shop would have gotten this. And also Blue Planet 2. Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Byrne, um, even though I really love this edition. I just didn't like the book, so it's got to go. You by Peter Robinson is the first book in a really long detective novel series. Um, which I thought I was interested in reading, but now I just don't think I am. For Whom the Bell Tolls by Ernest Hemingway, um, yeah, me and Ernest Hemingway just, we don't get along very well. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, I own another edition of it. Winter in Madrid by C.J. Sampson of Thomas Mallory, I own another edition of this which has more modern translation. I did actually really enjoy this book. Um, I just wouldn't read it again, it didn't stick with me quite that much. The Lost Air by Rick Bryden, I own another copy of this. My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante again, I own another copy of this apparently, I don't know how that happened. 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I think it's the magical realism in this book, it just isn't magical realism in me, we don't get it wrong. Mountains Echoed by Khalid Hosseini. Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. I just have no interest in this whatsoever. Third Song by Sebastian Fawkes. I've read this one. Um, I didn't love it. The Martian by Andy Weir. I've tried reading this. It just... There's something about it. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. The Help by Catherine Stockett. It hasn't aged well, has it? Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood. I think I'm kind of going off Margaret Atwood a little bit. Um, I'm going to give her books another try, but then if I don't like it, I might get rid of all of them. The First Fifteen Lives of Harry August by Claire North. Um, I've actually tried reading other novels by Claire North, and I didn't like those either, so I don't know if it is the time travel or if it's Claire North's writing style that I don't like. Um, but I really didn't get along with this. I got about 20 pages in and it was just like, this isn't happening. The Shock of the Floor by Nathan Filler. No, I'm going to get rid of it. I Am Pilgrim by uh, Terry Scott. Terry, Terry Hayes. That's really weird. He doesn't, his name isn't on the front of the cover. I never noticed that. Um, yeah, not interested in this. I'm also getting rid of The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, but with the intention of one day buying a new edition of it. And finally, I will be getting rid of The Mermaid and Mrs Hancock by Imogen. Hermes Gower. I didn't hate this book. Um, it just hasn't stuck with me very well. Overall, I do think that was a success. Um, I think I can probably fit most of those books now on the shelf um, with a little bit of reshuffling. Um, and then that's going to go, and then I can put my new thing there. Um, and I have to swing the whole bedroom around, which is going to be a bit of a pain. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, decluttering video. Let me know if you saw any books that I'm getting rid of that you don't think I should get rid of. I'm definitely open for suggestions um, and your opinions. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.